that the arts test box is powered up and has been running for a few minutes. It will establish its own Wi-Fi connection that we can connect our control tablet to. So on this iPad, select the settings, click Wi-Fi, the arts will be shown. The Wi-Fi will be connected between the arts, test box and the test controller. Once that's done, go back to the main page of your tablet, find your arts icon and click it. This is the communications interface test page. Under normal circumstances, I would have a Wi-Fi connection to the arts box and I would click connect. When I do that, the items 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 will be verified. They are that the connection is established, the records and any data is uploaded to the tablet, the battery status of the arts, a quick verification of the arts software and a status check on the calibration. In this case, I'm going to operate offline because I have no arts box here. The same thing would happen. The first menu is the main menu. You have test functions, utilities and documentation. If I select the test functions, we've broken down all the capabilities into different portions. First, top left, we have the navigation menu. This is where we select ILS, marker, ILS and marker together or VOR. To go back, simply hit the back button. In the COM menu, you have the AM test the FM test, the SSB HF test, and the cell call. Click back. ELT, this is our ELT test pages. Exit, back to the main page. Select DME, we have our DME menu. DME, ILS and DME combined, and VOR and DME combined. Go back again, or it's our functions menu again. I can now select ATC or transponders. Three options, mode S, ADSB or the at crabs menu. Back again, TCAS, we have the TCAS page and the TIS page. Back again to altitude monitoring. This is under development. So from the functions menu, if I click the back button, it takes us back to the main menu. So I've shown you the test functions menus. Let's look at the utilities. If you hit the confidence check, the arts does a very quick, fast confidence check that everything is running correctly. This is useful when you start testing, you can verify that the box is doing what it should do. We also have a software page. It will show the details of the software that's installed in both the arts box and in the tablet. Go back. Records. Whenever we test a system that has a record, for instance, mode S or ELT or ADSB, the records will be shown on this page. Everything will be broken down to show you the records of the test. If I exit out of this, cable and antenna loss. This only has to be done when the box has been calibrated or if you make any changes to the cables and the antennas that you're using. So for direct cable, we provide a 6 foot, a 20 foot and a 60 foot cable and all you would need to do here is enter in the loss value associated with those cables. Same thing for the antenna cable losses, but these we have a 3, a 12, a 30 and a 60 foot. And finally the antenna gains. When the antenna is calibrated there is a gain value associated with that antenna at any particular frequency. This antenna is only for the pulse antenna, that is the yellow antenna. All you would do was enter the values printed on the back of the antenna so they're stored. Once this has been done, you don't need to look at it again unless you make a change or the test box is calibrated. Back out again, there's a user privileges. This just gives a control over the values and the limits of the testing. Some people at an engineer level like to be able to control those values so technicians are limited in what they can do. Other people are happy to believe it just run. In this case, it's an unlocked mode. We also have engineer mode and Laversab mode. Those are not relevant to the customer. If I go back again, that's our utilities menu. If I go back again and back to our main menu, documentation, stored on the app is a 
cut down version of the user manual that can be selected any time. We have a spare parts list. Included in here are all the part numbers required for any parts you might need in the field, for example, antennas or cables. Support. If you need any support, there will be contact names and numbers, emails, websites, anything you need to support the arts in the field. Training. If at any point you need to look at some training, sections of this course will be included in the arts application so you can make a quick check if you are unsure about something. Product menu. That's simply a list of Leversab products and capabilities that we provide. It's just for information. So I'm going to go back out again. I want to talk about the main menu bar at the top. You can see there's an icon that looks like a dumbbell, one that looks like a book. There's a radio icon and a power icon. The power icon. When the arts test box is running on mains power, mains outlet power, it will appear like this. If it has a line through it, it means that the arts is not connected to main outlet power, but is running on battery power. The next one that's currently showing red that is telling me that I am not connected to an arts box. It's the Wi-Fi connection. If I was, it would be green, and it would show me that I have a good connection between the tablet and the arts. The next one, if at any time you push this, this will take you through to the user manual. The next one is a wait bar. If you click that little orange icon at any time, that will take you through to the training portion. During any stage of operation, if you forget or need to check something, you can make a quick reference to the operations manual or the training. And again, that will be a condensed version of the training. So that's the basic menu of the arts. 